Hi guys, today I'm back with another Olens review. I was really excited to get this, so I wanted to share it with you right away. Um, today I'll be reviewing and trying on the haul that I recently got with the Spanish Real Series line. And today I'm going to be trying out the Spanish Real Olive, Real Brown, and Real Gray. So if you want to see what these look like on my brown eyes, as well as my thoughts on them, then just keep watching. I think I'm going to start off with the Spanish Olive ones because I've been most excited for it. And as you can see here, I have two of them because I got it when Olens was having a sale for their Spanish line where it was buy one, get one free. So I got six total, which is really awesome. Um, and the case just kind of looks like this where it has a reflective material of like a greenish lime green kind of color. And then um, it shows that the graphic diameter is 11.9. So it's the same as the Genith Gold 3 Con Blue ones that I had tried out as my first pair of colored lenses. Um, and if I open up the box, same as the Genith ones, it just comes in these bubble cases like this and where it shows all the details of the lenses. And within the actual like packaging of the box, it came with um, two extra little contact cases and then another extra contact lens case that came in here inside a bigger case that holds like the sanitary tweezers. So this would be your travel pack if you're going anywhere. So for each color, you'll get a contact case lens. Before I pop them in, I kind of wanted to show you guys what it looked like outside of anyone's eyes. So against a white background, this is what it looks like. And now I'm going to pop them in and I'll be right back. If you guys want to see what it looks like with just one eye versus the other, this is the eye that I have it in. I really like the color. I think it's so natural and it just has like a really subtle green to it where I feel like I would actually wear this on a daily basis and I don't know if people would actually notice it so starkly where they'd be like, you have colored lenses on. But yeah, I'm I'm really digging these so far. They might, and they're super comfortable. Um, I'd say they're more comfortable than the Genith ones. Uh, the Genith ones I can kind of feel, especially in the top area of my eyelid there like that there's lenses in here, but this one, it doesn't, I can feel a, a little bit here, but um, not as much. So it's super comfortable. I'm going to pop in the other ones and I'll be right back. So this is what it looks like with both of the greens and I am really liking it. And as you can see, the graphic diameter doesn't fully cover my iris. And so there's like a bit of the brown popping out at the sides. I don't know if you can see that here, I think here and here. So it gives it a more natural appearance. And I've been, I'm really, really digging these. I kind of wish I got more of the green ones, but we'll see if these stay as my favorite ones um, once I put on the other ones. And in regards to the description of these um, lenses, uh, the base curve is an 8.6, the diameter is 14, and the graphic diameter is 11.9 millimeters. And obviously the dose on this or like the strength of the lenses is zero because I have 20-20. So if you're just curious about that, then um, that's the information there. And if you don't know what all of the information I just read off to you is, then I highly recommend watching the Genith review that I did because I do explain all of that in that video. So I'll link it in the description box below. And I just wanted to give you a look of what this looks like in natural lighting. I'm so digging this and honestly, it feels so comfortable. It doesn't even really, like I can feel it, the contact lenses in my eyes so slightly, but honestly, like it's hardly there that it, it wouldn't bother me. I feel like I could keep these on for pretty much the entire day without having it feel drying or anything like that. The next ones that I'm going to be doing for you, which I'm super excited about too, is the Spanish Real Gray ones. Um, and as for the specs on all of these ones that I'm reviewing today, they're going to be the same. So just keep that in mind if you're curious. Just to give you a look of what the grays look like without being in the eye, it's just like that. It actually has like little, little specks of green and blue in them that I'm sure will make it gray. Um, I think I'm going to get some similar vibes to the green look, but we shall see. So these ones are actually um, not as 
different as I thought they would be. I thought I'd have like a way more gray to them, but this is what it looks like. This is the eye that has it in, and this is the eye that doesn't have it in. And honestly, because it doesn't make the biggest difference, whether it be for, you know, like my eye color or whatnot, I don't know if I'd necessarily buy this again, but I do like the color. It just makes it my brown eyes look a little bit more cool toned, which is pretty cool. <laughs> um, and once again, the graphic diameter doesn't extend outside of my own color or iris. So there's that naturalness going on there since you can see the outline of my eye color. Okay, so I have both of them in now. And the more I look at them, I actually am starting to like them more and more. It has like a very natural look to them. Right now it's rather than like super grayish, it's giving it like um, a hazel tint, I feel like, to my eyes. I don't know if you guys can relate to what I'm talking to right now, but I am really digging these. Um, these are definitely really, really easy to wear for like an everyday thing. And they're so subtle, more subtle than the green ones that honestly, they would be such a pretty addition to just like a daily look. And to give you guys, once again, the natural lighting. Similar to the green ones, these ones are also super comfortable. Can't even really tell that they're in. Would wear them all day, oh my gosh. And guys, this line of Olens lenses is living up to its title of real olive, real brown, real gray, because these look like my natural, like real life colored eyes. When I look into the mirror, besides like the slight line that you can see from the clear lens, I honestly would think that these are someone's natural eye colors. Like it looks so real. And the graphic design of it, where it gives like the streaks of color, it looks so real. I am loving this. I can't, I can't tell which I which one I like better, the gray ones or the green ones. These look so cool. <laughs> All right, and the last ones for this try-on review is the Spanish real brown ones. I saved this one for to be the last one because I already have brown eyes. But um, I believe these ones should actually be slightly lighter than my own brown eyes. And I know a lot of um, brown eyed beauties really like to see what a lighter brown would look on them. So I wanted to get this just for you guys. Immediately upon taking it, out of the packaging. I can tell that this is definitely lighter than my own brown eyes. It has like a lot of yellows and even some pinks in there and then some specks of like a darker brown. It's going to be really pretty. I can tell it's going to be like a gold brown look, which I'm pretty excited about. Okay guys, I have it in and honestly, I am really digging this look too. Um, I thought it wasn't going to be as stark of a difference as it is, but I am getting some like twilight vibes going on. Can you guys? So this is the eye with um, the lens in and this is the one without. And I kind of am getting like, you know, the vampire, what's his name? Like the Cedric Diggory character. <laughs> if you guys can't tell, I'm a Harry Potter fan more so than Twilight, but the Cedric Diggory guy, oh, Edward, I think his name was, um, when he doesn't have his like uh, red eyes, I think his eyes kind of look like this, right? Um, I only saw the movie once, but I'm getting kind of those vibes where it's like a golden color. You can't really see a lot of the pink in it, but um, I think it's just kind of masked by my own natural brown, but honestly, I am really digging this too. It's like a um, different feeling. You can't really tell from far away from here, at least in camera. And once again, the graphic diameter doesn't extend beyond my own iris, so there's a bit more naturalness to the look again. Very comfortable. I'm going to go pop in the other one and show you guys what this looks like in natural light. Okay, so this is what it looks like with both in. And honestly, because this is so much lighter than the gray and the olive color, I feel like when I immediately looked into the mirror, this one made more of a difference, um, at least to me in person, than the other colors did, which I was surprised by. I thought like the gray, I would have such a different look to me, but I'm really digging this ethereal or like vampire <laughs> look. <laughs> okay, I'll show you guys what this looks like in natural lighting. So a little bit closer up and with natural lighting, this is what these lenses look like. It's not the su a super sunny day out right now. It's pretty overcast in Seattle, but I think you guys can kind of tell what they look like. I think my 
my favorite is gonna go to the olive green one. I just thought they were really pretty and honestly I was most excited for them for a reason. Um, I think a lot of the black pink members do do like the olive green or the gray look and as you could have probably seen in my try on the gray lenses did have a very similar vibe to the greens. Um, they were just a lot cooler toned and a lot less warm and green than the greens obviously. I am so happy with all of these purchases but still would say that the olive green ones were my favorite ones. <laughs> I don't think I mentioned this before but all of the real Spanish lines are able to be worn for one month which I find really surprising because from what I've heard about contact lenses the shorter the amount of time you're able to wear them for so there's like the one one a day or like two weeks one week kinds they're more comfortable since you don't have to keep them as long apparently they're thinner so it makes it seem like they're more comfortable in that sense but these ones when i was taking them out um they actually felt a lot thinner than my jenith ones and the jenith ones are two weeks so i found that to be interesting and also i like that because i like these ones um better than the jenith ones because they look a little bit more natural the way the graphic like stringy parts i guess of the colors, they have a more natural look to them than the Jenith. So if you can see here, these are the Jenith. You can see like the streaks here for the contact lenses on the blue. Whereas the Spanish ones are a little bit more um, light in their strokes to make it have a more natural appearance. So if you're looking for a more stark difference for your eyes, like when you want to go out or something, the Jenith ones might be a little bit of a better choice for you if you want to have that stark contrast. But if you want something for a more everyday type of look, I highly recommend these Spanish ones. They're so pretty. They look super natural. They're super comfortable. You can barely tell that they're in your eyes. Um, and yeah, I think for today, I'm actually going to wear one of these out and we'll see if anyone notices. I'll let you guys know if any of my friends <laughs> notice because I'm supposed to go to Bible study tonight. So I wonder if any of them will see a difference. But yeah, let me know which lenses you thought looked best on me because I'm kind of curious. And if you have any uh, color lenses that you'd like to try or ones that you think I should give a try out for you. And until next time, cheers to a good week. Bye guys.